Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and today I've got you back at work with me. We're gonna dig through some more sparklies, gratuitous sparkly overload. I've got a giant bag sitting behind me. I've got a fun little stack of boxes here, and we're gonna dig through and um, just see what we can find. Uh, a little backstory. I'll, uh, I don't like to do the whole spiel every video, but um, I'm a part-time reseller that I do. I do that on my own time, like as a hobby, as a side hustle. And I'm a full-time manager at a jewelry store where I'm also in charge of our vintage uh, costume inventory, the listing and uh, research and photographing the whole the whole bit anyway it's kind of a dream come true I'm extremely lucky I am not an expert so it takes a lot of work I have to really search things out I'm sure there are things I'm missing um, at the same so it's so for that reason I'm so open to your comments and uh, and input please if you have anything to add to the conversation uh, do that put it in the comments <laughs> and uh, and we'll learn together. So um, I've, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. So I, I have a good little base knowledge going, I would say. But uh, certainly there's always, there's so much to learn. There's no way. Um, so if you've come here for expert information, you may have come to the wrong channel because I am not an expert. But um, on this series, come to work with me. I bring you to work. We dig through some of the inventory that um, that we have here, and it helps me to organize my inventory after I'm done filming this video. I separate priority listing items, and anyway, it's it's really helping me to get through what I have. So, um, but yeah, here we're gonna dig. If you're oh, if you're interested in the photography eBay research listing part of it. The first couple episodes of this playlist come to work with me, uh, focus on that a bit more, and we will get back to that um, eventually. <laughs> in the meantime, we're just having fun. So we're going to dig in through some, uh, some stuff here. I've got this little stack. Here's my bag off to the side. Look at this thing, right? That's a big freezer bag. So let's start over here. Let's start with this beautiful box. Isn't that pretty? Nice blue, blue color. Everything's so dark on my phone right now. Hang on. Okay, so we have a teal blue box with this beautiful gold rim on it. And in there, ooh, it does not disappoint with the sparkliness. Like we just started this thing off with the sparkliest of sparkles. Look at that. Very pretty. Let's take a look here. Let's get the earrings out first. We've got a brooch and some clip-on earrings. So there's our earrings. Looks like a little bit of damage to the coating, the AB coating. But it's a blue AB and then it's got these uh, light blue uh, rhinestones as well. And this is a brand, Sarah Coventry. Okay, nice little Sarah Coventry set. Excuse me while I have a drink of water. Now let's take a look at the brooch. I really like this shape. Okay, so with the, the way the pin is here, oop, fluff. It would hang this way when you wear it. And so we've got two different tones of um, blue in the center rhinestones and then all those AB coated. And there's the symbol down there, the, the mark for Sarah Cov. That is so pretty. That's a good start, hey? <laughs> when we talk about having a sparkly overload, that's about as sparkly as she gets. Okay, this little box, just a black leather box. Mm -hmm. Silver tone men's set. What does it say in here? I don't know. Hmm. I can't tell if there's a brand written there or something, but looks like we have a tie tack. 
cufflinks and what is this fun for i get these a lot out in the wild as well <clears throat> these little clips so like if there's a tie tack is this just another option i'm not sure but we do have a brand on this set it is from anson it's got a little rhinestone i suppose it could be a diamond chip but unlikely and then i'll pull out one of the cufflinks here so it's like this cut design into silver tone super pretty and eye-catching now it's not marked anson i bet you they're not even related then obviously they don't look alike okay so this is not related to the set but and i don't have any name on this one hmm i guess we'll check the other one it's pretty though hey eh? look at that whoa <laughs> No, no mark. What about the tie tack? The tie tack is matching. Oh, come on. There we go. Just a little guy, a little version. Yeah. No marks. So I don't know. I don't really know what to make of it, but... I'll be looking it up, that's for sure. All right, next little box is this burgundy one. It's in rough shape. Let's see. Oh. Earrings and a brooch. Let's take a look at the brooch. Just a silver tone, clear rhinestone. It's really pretty. It's a wreath design and it, it has like a curve to it. See how? It goes all the way in, and then there's a row of rhinestones down inside, too. That's really pretty. Many, many prongs on each of those stones. And then around the outside, they're set like a flower. Let's see. Hmm. No mark that I can see there. It's pretty, though. I like the construction is really nice really pretty so then the earrings do they go with it i don't know oh they're so tiny little teeny tiny clip-ons look at them they're just like studs this one's bent a little bit well no it's not it's just how it is on the back nice old structure in there but no mark But those are cute. They're so tiny. Itty bitty. Okie dokie. Next up. I'm going to put this guy back here. Okay, whatever. Next up, the green box. I like this box with the gold accents. It's in nice condition. Ah, more Thai stuff. Signet. And the design is like this. Hmm. Let's check this one. Same, same. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know why in my mind, in my brain, I seem to think like, signet was coro's men's line or something like that but i'm not sure how accurate that is so please don't quote me on that and then we have a silver box here it says uh, eaton's canada eaton's of canada fun fact eaton is my maiden name but i am not associated with the store or the the store that used to be around oh what did we hear Well, there's a little pink rhinestone down there. <laughs> and these are interesting. Silver tone 
people. Now this one has a pin on the back and this one did. It's been broken off now. So I don't know. They, they, look, they look Tibetan or something. Hmm. Those are interesting. Cool. A man and a woman. Let's see. I don't know what to think as far as silver goes. I suppose I'll test it and see. This one's already damaged because of the the closure coming off, so I'll do a, a scratch test on on it. And we'll find out more. If it's something significant, I will come back and let you know. <laughs> yeah, let's stand them up back here. Where are you? There. <laughs> oh, you can't even see what I did. See, I put them over there. All right. Let's see now. We're going to get into the uh, the bag. So I'm just going to pull some items out and we'll take a look at them as we go. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is a sad, a cool and sad one. <laughs> really really beautiful look at that it's garnets and the way that the stones are flat really flat on top here i'm going to get in closer so we have better lighting and i'll bring this around maybe give us a better light on it right now ah that's cool we're missing one and man you know i'll never find one that looks like that on top right <laughs> oh it's so pretty really cool yeah the way those stones are is interesting huh and uh, I don't know I thought it looked like for a second that maybe the this is a new pin but look how old that is too nice oh and look at this flips up to become a pendant yeah, old C clasp on there. Oh, I just watched a really good video from a lady on YouTube that really broke down the brooch clasps and um and how you can aid like um you know, tell how old something is or what what era it came from based on the clasp. And I learned a lot and I swear to god it went in one ear and out the other. But all I know is that definitely this is an old guy. Um, it's so beautiful. I oh, I wish so badly we didn't have one missing. Yeah, because those are not your average stone. You're not going to find one like that very easily to pop in there. But anyway, really cool. Love it. Let's put you here. Okay. Next... I have a bag. Mm. Very sparkly bag. Back up a little bit here. Ooh! Wow! Look at that! Okay, let's start with the earrings. Before I go any further, let's start with looking for a mark. How about that? Doesn't really matter, does it? It's still awesome. Like, th this looks... Oh my god. No name. Hmm. If there if there's no name on this set, then someone out there must be able to attribute it to somebody because it is exquisite. It is special. It is unique. Wow. <gasps> yeah, no marks. Okay, let's start with uh well, let's start with the brooch. Here we are. Look at that. Holy smokes. Long skinny marquee or navets. And they're each on their own stem. You see that? Each one of those is on its own stem. It's in layers with peridot and like a clear rhinestone and topaz. Big topaz colored rhinestone, crystal rhinestone in the middle. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. And then clear rhinestones all around that center. 
it's a nice size. Wow, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And the earrings follow suit as far as the, uh, the pieces being each on their own stem. Clip on and they have, they're mirroring that center of the brooch as well. Oh, I hope somebody out there knows something about this set because it feels special. It feels really special. <laughs> how cool is that? Really great. You guys get the pedestal. That's how awesome you are. There we go. Wow. Really pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm just like in shock from how gorgeous that was. Ah, oh, it just keeps going. This, this bag is amazing. Look at this. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying wow this whole episode. This has got purple, like amethyst colored rhinestones on gold tone. And the center is uh, featuring, well, what looks like opal, right? It's, if it's not actually opal, it's a very nice fake opal. Uh, what do you think? Is that real opal? Oh, I don't know. It has a lot of sparkle in it or life or light in there. No, I don't think it is. Look, you can kind of see how it's domed and over top of. Oh, she's a bit loose there. Careful. But I love the combination of that dark purple and the opal. Fake opal. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. Uh, okay, let's look for a name now. Oh, there we go. We do have a name. And this is by Continental. Hmm. Like I say, I I've said before, I find a lot of stuff from Continental. And I don't know much about the company. So I'll definitely need to look into that right now. Or later. I mean, later I'll look into it. I'm trying to remember to do that before I film the next episode. Here's a bracelet, a gold tone buckle style, um, well, hinged, hinged bracelet. How does it open? So we've got a safety clasp there and hello. Hinge. Huh. How does it open? Like this, you push it in, and then that buckle lifts, and it slides out. Like this. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting design. I haven't come across one like that yet. Ooh, neat. Little safety clasp there. The design is pretty. Some etching in there. And the back side is just... Um, shiny. Let's look for a name. I don't, I don't know that we will find one, but. Oh yeah, there's something there. Let's see. Rolled gold. Excalibur, made in England, rolled gold. So what I understand rolled gold to be is um, like the base metal and it's plated and rolled out thin and then pieces are cut like a cookie, like a cookie cutter from a sheet of uh, gold plated whatevers. But I'll definitely look into that one and find out more. But that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool anyway. <laughs> All right, what is next? I try and keep everything in there. Let's give it a little sticky, sticky. All right, next up, 
I just reached in and grabbed whatever was there and we have another bracelet. Bam! This one is missing a big stone, but it is heavy. Oh, we're missing two big stones. Darn. It's very heavy. It's nice and wide. We're missing that one. Here, let me open it up. Uh, safety chain. Like the, It's kind of strange to me because the safety chain doesn't have a clasp. So, like, it's there. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, we're just missing the one. I thought, I don't know, I tricked myself into thinking there was two, but... Anyway, we're missing one big one. And I don't see a name anywhere. Nope. It's nicely constructed, and like I say, it's very heavy. So if I found one, that'd be cool. It looks like there was one here too on the clasp, see? But now there isn't. And that's okay. Move, oops, moving on. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a gold cuff bangle and it's tiny. It's like, it's for a baby, right? Like that's it on my two fingers. That's for a baby. Oh, that's so sweet. Teeny tiny. It says sterling there. Yeah. The B in a, what, a hexagon? Is that a hexagon? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's super flexible. So yeah, definitely sterling. But look at the detail on it. It's so pretty. And that's a little bracelet for a baby. That's so cute. Ha, huh. how about that? Next up, oh, a box in here. Let's do another box earrings it says sterling vermi crystal jewel way international hmm, those are pretty sort of a cluster or i don't know it's kind of giving me like a, the feeling of a flower a lily like a calla lily and it's got these pearl shape or tear shaped Pearl dangles. <clears throat> they are oh, 14 karat posts. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, they're Omega. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Omega back is desirable. Yeah, those are cool. I'll close that up. I'll put them back in their box because that's obviously their box. Very cool. Alrighty, where am I going to put you now? You go there. Out of sight. <laughs> They're there, don't worry. Next up, a brooch. Ooh. Look at that one. Wow. I love that green. Really nice green. In this sort of diamond shape. That's that's an unusual shape for um for a crystal rhinestone as far as I know. And then it's got clear ones just tuk, 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 all around. That's super cool. I don't know what to attribute it to as far as like a time goes. But look at the backs are open. You get so much light through through the piece. Come on, focus. Wow. Really neat. Oof, sorry guys. I don't see any name. Love it though. I really like that one. Put you there. Okay, next up, that's an earring that can sit there for now. Oh, all right, we have another beautiful 
rhinestone, colorful rhinestone necklace. Look at this one. It's got the AB coating and dark fuchsia pink along uh, the neck here, alternating. We have the hook, no mark there. Nothing on the dingle dangle dongle, but this is a this is a dingle dangle dongle that we often see, you know, with this little loop in between. I don't know if that's something that's been used across other like many different um, manufacturers or something. Nothing on the back there too, but that is super pretty. Oh, nice. What the heck, eh? What is going on here? Let's pull you out there. Nice. It's like you can't have... How can you have so many stars of one show? Too many stars in each show. I've got some earrings coming out of the bag that are not paired up, so I'm going to keep them off to the side. And... I'm just getting a couple of necklaces who are hanging out together. They're stuck on each other. All right, here's something a little more plain, but still sparkly. Won't fix the rings. Just a clear rhinestone on silver. And a circle and then plain all the way up like this. I think that's nice. It's nice and simple. And, uh, well, you know, you could wear that any day, any day of the week. <laughs> and on the clasp, I don't see anything. Nope. Oh, my God. Focus. Zoom in. Yeah, nothing on there. That's nice. I'm not mad at it. But you don't quite get like rock star parking in the middle. Uh, okay, now they're sparkly on gold tone. This is a lighter AB coating. I'm wondering about AB coating in general. Like this is sort of unclear. Is it the same coating on this blue set here as this has, as this has, or is there different colors of Aurora Borealis? Or is it all just how it reacts to the color it's put on top of, I wonder? I don't know. I suppose that's something I'll have to look into at some point if I want to find out. All right, back here we've got like one little tiny extender and a hook. Oh, hello. Nothing on there. And on the back here. Ah, there we go. Sherman. So I wonder if I've got little earrings for that in there somewhere. Hopefully. There we go. Nice. So there's a very good chance that that's Swarovski crystals. Um, I was under the impression or I had learned that they used Swarovski in all of their stuff, but I was... Somebody on one of the Facebook groups I'm on let me know that that's actually not the case. And also with the signed, I was told that, like, Gus Sherman's son wrote that uh, his dad would always say, if it's not signed, it's not Sherman. But then um, in the books about Sherman, a lady on, on one of my Facebook groups was telling me that it's been learned that there were Sherman pieces that were unsigned, and and in the cases where they were mass produced for a department store those pieces are unsigned i need another drink of water okay now we have something a little more simple as well silver tone it's on a rope chain let's check the clasp for sterling mark first Oh, I think maybe we do have it there. 
Oh, I don't have my loop next to me, so we'll just have to... Yeah, I think that says ing, erling, I think I see. <laughs> and uh, so it's permanently attached like this. It's not like a, a sliding pendant. Filigree with a blue aquamarine looking rhinestone. And then this piece at the bottom, super pretty. Another set of filigree leaves curling around to these pear-shaped or teardrop-shaped blue rhinestone. Oh, we've got a name here. And that is Sorrento Sterling. Sorrento Sterling. Hmm. I've never heard of Sorrento Sterling. I was expecting, honestly, to turn it around and have it say J Flex or J Kel or uh, Bond Boyd Sterling. Oh my God, I thought I had that fixed. It's, I need a new tripod, you guys. My phone just <coughs> leaped out at me and scared the bejesus out of me. So now I'm on edge. That's okay. I work well under pressure. So anyway, that's where we were. We were looking at this guy. I thought it might say Bond Boyd um, or J Flex or J Cal, but it doesn't. It says Sorrento Sterling. I used to drive a Sorrento. I liked my Sorrento. Kind of miss it. Okay, phone. You stay where you're supposed to stay. All right, here's another something. I got a little bit of a tangle here. Let me get this free. All right, there we go. Uh-huh. Ooh, pretty. So this is a necklace, or it looks like it would be a choker unless we're missing parts of it, right? Oh, it's got um, these light topaz or citrine. Like they, they look kind of brownish. They don't. I don't think they're meant to be citrine, but they're large. Let's get into the light a bit more here. They're big and I think smoky topaz. Hey, eh? it's got these full pearl. I don't think they're full actually. I think they're real because. Um. They're fairly irregular. No, they're definitely fake. Uh, oh, wow. That's so pretty, too. Very subtle compared to some of these other bonkers rhinestone things that we find. But this is uh, really nice. Oh, it's kind of stuck there. I don't want to mess with it too much. I might mess it up. But the flower portions have little pearls. And, uh, yeah, that's what she looks like really pretty it's kind of getting twisty in my hands so i'm not going to mess with it too much but let's take a look for something oh i might as well zoom zoom there hmm. no names that i can see i guess the other place i could do it is the back of a flower so i'll check them first before i put it down but hmm. Super pretty. That's nice. That's interesting, I think. Can you 15 minute lay up here? No. There. There we go. And then stuck on it was, oh, this is so dainty and pretty. Hang on. It's got a bit of a knot. Okay, well, I'm not going to deal with it right now, but I will show you. Look at this. Oh, wrong side, I think. There we go. It's a amethyst with a dangle amethyst. Hey, eh? trying to get it to focus there. That's pretty. It's on a very thin chain. I'll zoom in here. Yeah. And then it's got a pear shaped one and dangling at the bottom. Wow, that's cool. Probably sterling, and if it is sterling, it's amethyst. 
And then I've got a knot over here at the end, but let's check the clasp. Hmm. Well, it's not marked sterling, so that doesn't give me high hopes, but regardless, I think that's super cute and very pretty. Oops, you don't want to go anywhere. There. You can pile up right there. All right. Next up. Another brooch. Ooh, this guy is dirty. This needs a cleaning. Put that down. Look at that. It's like jet black and AB coating. It's got a lot of dust on the inside there, see? So it needs a little wash, but I I love the, the hardcore contrast of the black with that bright blue and purple yellow AB coating. It's cool, it's in layers that way. And there's the back with no mark, but that's really neat. Really cool brooch. I like the black. And here's a bracelet. Clear rhinestones on silver tone. It's an interesting design. It's got a safety chain. And this kind of a clasp. Is that a box clasp? When it slides in like that. I'm not sure. There's no name on it. But it's very pretty. And what's next? I'm not sure how long we are because it's a couple of... Uh, chunks here of video so we'll just keep going for a while until we fill up the space right <laughs> here's another brooch this one is super cool too uh asymmetrical the way that the pin is makes me imagine it hanging this way on your clothing green and a b coating in gold tone pretty no name but like super pretty and very big. Look at that. Quite large. Hmm. I kind of like it better this way, but who knows? Who knows how it would hang? That's awesome. So like that. No. Like this. No. Like that. Oh my gosh. Where are you going to go? It's worth a spot, this one. It deserves a spot. Nah, here, let's just go here. <laughs> All right. Here's something that doesn't sparkle at all, and that's okay. Gold tone uh, leaves, like in a brushed finish, and three little pearls. It's really branchy and pretty. Oh, listener. There we go. There's the back of it. Pretty. Nice little listener brooch. That's not little. I shouldn't say that. It's quite big. <laughs> there, you can go there. All right. Next up, another brooch. You know, they're saying brooches are going to come in, and I really, <laughs> I really hope they do because uh, we have a ton of them. I have a ton of them. We have a ton of them here at the store. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably have a ton of them as well. <laughs> so, this is just a clear rhinestone and silver tone brooch. It's pretty interesting, though. I like the simplicity of it, I like the, the, the ring. You know, like the plant life coming up through the ring. It's got a leaf wraparound thing happening. And we do have a name back there. Let me open this up so I can see it. Boop. What do you say? Uh-huh, Bond Void. Bond 
Boyd Sterling. Yep. I find a lot of Bond Boyd Sterling. Another company that I don't know a lot about, but I find a lot. So I'm going to have to assign some homework to myself, I think. You guys ever do that? I need to assign myself some homework so that I can force myself to get out there and learn more about the things I'm dealing with. Ooh, this is pretty. You hear that? Ooh, I think I'm in love. This needs to get into the light. There, look at that. We've got cloisonne. Now, is it glass beads or are they garnet? Like, they're very translucent. I'll turn this a little bit. They're really translucent. And that's not really helping much, is it? But you can tell. I don't see, like, inclusion. They look pretty uniform. Little brass beads in between. And then cloisonne. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I like it a lot. Here's the clasp. Oh, geez, I can't. I just blanked on the name of this style of clasp. I don't remember what it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh, oh, oh. My phone just about jumped just one sec. Okay, I think we're good. For now. Oh my god. Anyway, here we are. Poison A. Oh, come on. Focus. And I'll bring my light in to get a better... Some better lighting on the, the beads. Super pretty. Oh yeah, right. I was looking at the class before my fla life flashed before my eyes. My phone just about jumped out at me again, but I saw it happening. But... <laughs> I saw it starting to slide. So I was able to save myself. Well, I don't see any marks for the clasp being gold or sterling. So I'm going to guess that these are just glass beads, but the cloisonne accents are really pretty. They're just uh, on the sides like that. You see? Just three cloisonne beads down the side. I like that. That's my style. Okay, next up. Here's a little baggie. Sorry I keep moving you in and out, in and out, but I find that the lighting is poor if I get too far out of the box, and you also can't see all of the sparklies if I get too in tight. Okay, so this has... Earrings and a brooch. Oh. Okay. Oh, maybe that's why it's been put into this bag. Okay, let's take a look. Here are the earrings. There's one. It almost has like a bug-like quality to it. They are clip-on. And that's what they look like. Kind of pretty, kind of cool. And the brooch is so layered. Look at this. Layers and layers. And there are two missing stones here, but in that bag are the stones. So I will be able to fix that. Um, I'll glue them back in and push the prongs down and it'll be good as new. But doesn't that have like a bug? kind of feel to it. The way the clip goes on the earrings is this way. So it's a bit confusing, but the construction on this brooch is insane. Look at that. Layers and lay like, wow. And I don't see a name. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What the heck? No name on the earring. And we better check the other one to be sure. Nope. I'm going to put those guys back in the bag with the spare rhinestones. Keep that all together. Very cool. 
Super cool, actually. And here's a porcelain brooch. Porcelain flower bouquet. Got a few of these already in my travels, in my adventures. This one is really nice, though. Wow. It's nice. This is the nicest one I've found yet. I love how they've clustered them together. The flowers are quite big. Usually they're like a whole bunch of tinies or... Um, and the color is vibrant. That yellow. Wow, hey? Very nice. Um, damage. There's always damage. Um, because they're so delicate. But it looks like this leaf had some more action in the tip of this petal and the tip of this petal. And... Hmm... Everyone else is looking good. There's always little flea bites. I call them flea bites, just little tiny chippy chips. But this says Coalport, China, made in England. And that's what the clasp looks like as well. Yeah, that's one of the nicer ones I've I've found, I would say. I like that one most out of what I have seen. Here's another brooch. It's funky. Spiky and swoopy and clear baguette and little sapphire round rhinestones. Are we missing any? I find these baguettes like to fall out in groups. Like you lose a whole schwack of them at a time. Oh, are we ever lucky? They're all there. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. It's there. There's some dirt. Anyway, that's a cool brooch. Really pretty. And on the back. Is that a thing? No. No signature. But I like uh, I like the style of that. That's cool. Um, there's a ring here. Before I back out again here. There's a ring. Got a big clear rhinestone. It's like a black japanned setting in a gold tone band. Oh my, what do you say? Uh huh. 10 karat gold filled. And sterling patent pending blah 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 nice so when I started working at the jewelry store here because we buy and sell gold and silver I needed to learn and I'm still I'm still learning all the time but I needed to learn you know the difference between gold plated or gold filled we don't buy gold filled or gold plated stuff um, because we're buying it for melt so it's not worth our time to buy that stuff but um, the way that my boss had described it to me was gold plated is obviously, you know, gold, a thin coating of gold over top of a base metal. And gold fill is, if you can imagine making a cake and you add blue food dye to the cake batter. And when you finish baking the cake no matter where you cut the cake it'll be blue throughout right because the blue food dye is mixed throughout the whole batter and that's what gold fill is gold fill is blue food dye in the cake batter it's throughout the whole thing it's not just a coating on the outside anyway <laughs> that's how i was taught about it and i hope that that is accurate because i have been operating under that information <laughs> all right i think we'll find a couple more things here oh what do we got well hell let's do another brooch hey eh? another green tone it's got like a swirl situation green rhinestone and ab coating that's so pretty i love when they do that color combination i find a lot of things in that color combination and they tend to sell because it's it's just that beautiful. Um, yeah, I like the, the off-centered sort of swirl of this one. I don't see anything missing. 
And on the back side, I don't see anything marked. Roar. Eh, so many things unmarked. It's pretty crazy. Alrighty, let's do one more thing here and then I think we could probably call it quits this time. But look at this one. Wow. Look at that. That's major. <laughs> it's super thick. I thought I was pulling out a bracelet at first, but it's not. It's like a, well, it's a necklace. That's what it is. Let's check the hook here. Get in closer for the light. I have seen Made in Austria stamped on this style, this small of a of a hook before. So don't ever discount these little skinny hooks because they'll get it on there if they can, if they want to. There's the dingle dangle dongle. And let's just check out the back here and then we can look at the front again. The good stuff again. Yeah, anyway. So it's this brilliant, brilliant blue, um, like a sapphire and aquamarine. Wow, that's crazy. I feel like that's crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But that's a very interesting design. It's not like anything I've found. It's super solid, like a bracelet. Hmm. All right, there we go. I think that's going to do it for today. We got a pretty good sparkly haul over here. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw today, make sure you have subscribed so that we can hang out again and dig for sparklies again. Um, down in the description box below, you're going to find links to my eBay, to the store's eBay, to my email, to, I don't, I don't know, our TikTok. I do TikToks too for the store, World of Jewelry. Search me up on, uh, on TikTok and follow me. I'm having fun on there too. I'm just having fun every day. This is fun. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.